Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in blue, and we are learning to use logarithms to solve for unknown powers. So two key things that we need to know about today is logarithms, and you'll also hear that referred to as logs, and unknown powers. This is when we use logs to solve. So for example, if you had an equation 3x plus 1 equals 10, that idea, that power has a variable, it is unknown, so it's an unknown power. And it's that type of equation where we can use logs to solve. So there's a whole bunch of log rules that we're going to become more and more familiar with. But today we're just going to get into a couple easier solving questions. That way you can kind of see how logs work and the benefit of logs to solve equations. And then we'll get into the nuances of logs themselves. So let's change pen colors. Um, and let's have a look at our first example. So blue pen, example number one. Let's say we've got 6 to the power of x equals 256. So some of you might be tempted to change 256 to like x to the power or something. We don't need to do that. We can go ahead and do logs. So unknown power, which means we're going to log that side. So I'm going to write log 6x. And at this point, I just want to emphasize log is kind of like sine, cos, and tan. The log of a certain number has a particular answer. And then because we've done it to one side of the equation, we've got to do it to the other side of the equation as well. And that's just our normal equation principles. Um, we've logged both sides. And the first rule I want us to learn about is the power rule. So if you have a log that is, for example, log a to the power of b, that becomes b times log a. So in other words, that power moves out to the front as a multiplication. And we can apply that rule here. So the x is going to move to the front. So we're going to have x log 6, and that there is going to be equal to log 256. And at this point here, just normal algebraic procedures need to apply. So log 6 is just a number. That's currently times log 6. So we're going to go divide by log 6. And that will cancel out the log 6 there. We've done it to that side. It means we've got to do it to this side here. Divide by log 6. That will leave us with x because the times log 6 and the divide by log 6 cancel each other out. So x will be equal to log 256 divided by log 6. And when you put that in your calculator, hopefully you're going to get an answer that is 3.095. And I've rounded that to three decimal places. So that's the first rule we want to have a look at. Let's change pink colors. Um, I don't know why I picked yellow. Let's pick uh, the pink one. So we're now going to have a look at a second question. And it's got a slightly different theme. So it's similar to the first one, but slightly different theme. So let's say we've got 2x plus 1 is the power. That there is equal to 39. So our job is to figure out what x is equal to. So the thing you should, the thing that should immediately draw your attention is that unknown power. That means we've got to log that side. And that kind of has the effect of undoing unknown powers. We've done it to one side, so we've got to do it to the other side as well. So I've logged both sides. I'm then going to use the power rule. I'm going to move this one out front, and just going to note, because it's two parts, I'm going to put it around in a bracket, and then log 2 equals log 39. I'm then going to carry on with my algebraic procedures. So this here is currently times log 2. I'm going to go divide by log 2, divide by log 2. And this also has the benefit of unlocking this bracket, which means we can get to the x. So that means x plus 1 is going to be equal to log 39 divided by log 2. And final step, we just got to get rid of that plus 1 now. So we're going to go minus 1, minus 1, which means x will be equal to log 37 
divided by log 2, and that there is going to be equal to oh, then minus 1. And when you put that all into a calculator, you should get 4.285, and that there is rounded to three decimal points. So that's the second rule. That's a continuation of that power rule um, that we've learned. That was the first type of questions. We're now going to have a look at two other rules, and I'm going to clear the screen, and we're going to get into rules related to unknown powers which are being multiplied and also unknown powers which are being divided as well. Um, to do that, we're going to need to know or understand two more log rules, which we're going to put on the left, or I'll put on the right, sorry. So log rule number two, we're going to have the multiplying rule. So, for example, if we have log, and then inside that log, it is, um, let's say, a to the power of b, times c to the power of d, you can change that to log a to the power of b plus log c to the power of d. So you're basically splitting that up into two separate logs. So let's go through a question as to how that works. Um, it is definitely a bit trickier than before. So we're now moving on to the third question for this video. So we've got, oh gosh, apologies. So we've got 4 to the power of x, that's being multiplied by 5 to the power of x, and we've been told that equals 60. So again, first thing that draws your eye should be these unknown powers, and unknown powers, straight away you should be thinking logs. So we're going to log both sides. So we're going to go log, and don't forget we're logging the entire side, so we're going to make sure we wrap that around in a bracket, equals log 60. And you notice... Inside the log, we have a multiplication. So that's when we're going to split it up using our addition rule. So that means it's going to be log to the power of 4 to the power of x. And we're going to add log 5 to the power of x. And that there equals log to the power of 60. We're then going to actually apply the power rule that we learned before. So we can see we've got these powers we're going to move both of them to the front of their respective portions. So that's going to be x log 4 plus x log 5, and that there will be equal to log 60. So far we're all good. Um, now we need to go ahead and solve them. So just remember log 4, log 5, log 60. These are just numbers, and the same algebraic procedures need to apply. Um, but the big obstacle we see is we've got two x's, we only need one, and the way we're going to get to one is we're actually going to factorize. So we're going to take out the x, leaving log 4, take out the other x, leaving log 5, and that there still is equal to log 60. We've currently now got a multiplication, so log 4 plus log 5 is being multiplied by x. We're going to go divided by log 4 plus log and we're going to do the same on the other side. So log 4 plus log 5. So that means x is equal to log 60 divided by log 4 plus log 5. And when you put that into your calculator, x will be equal to 4.225. And I've rounded that to three decimal points. So that's the multiplication rule. The last rule we need to be aware of is our vision rule. And this is a very similar theme with one minor subtraction. So let's say you've got log um, a over b or to the power of b divided by c to the power of d. That there is just going to become subtraction. So we've got log a to the power of b minus log c to the power of d. So that division becomes subtraction. So let's very quickly finish off our video by doing a division question. So let's say we've got 9 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x, and that there is equal to 4. Straight away, you should be thinking unknown powers means I've got to be doing some log rules. So I'm going to log both sides. 9 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x. That is equal to log 4. We've got division. 
we're going to make that subtraction. So we've got log 9 to the power of x minus log 2 to the power of x. That there is equal to log 4. We've now got the unknown powers to move to the front using our first power rule. So x log 9 minus x log 2 is equal to log 4. Same process as before. Two x's, we need to factorize those together. So we've got x log 9 minus log 2 equals log 4. We're now going to do our division of both sides by the log 9. So I push it in brackets, log 9 minus log 2. And we're going to do the same to the other side, log 9 minus log 2. And when we do all that, so x is going to be equal to log 4 divided by log 9 minus log 2. We then pop that on our calculator. Just remember that bottom bit does need a bracket to work properly if you're doing it on the calculator. And your answer should be 0 0.922. And again, that was rounded to 3dp. So guys, hopefully you found this video on log rules useful. So we are vaguely trying to get into our rules um, and we're focusing straight into the deep end. We're trying to figure out how can these new log rules that we're learning be used to solve algebraic equations, specifically unknown powers. All right, let's get into heaps and heaps of practice now.